Well, today is the big day. I'm going to succeed mountaineering for the first time. I just drank a little bit of water, making some coffee, got some sugars, got some creamers, got some granolas. I'm going to do my best to make it a great day today. All right, it is 6.30. Getting a later start than I planned. Yeah, a lot of nervous energy. I got some candy in my pocket for uh, easy access, as they say. And I'm going to start making my way up. And the trail goes up there and then cuts across and goes back behind that. But I'm going to take this route that's covered in snow to avoid the scree slope because all that scree yesterday was scarier than the ice. So here goes nothing. <laughs> I really hope I'm making this look easy because <laughs> I'm f***ing dying right now. <laughs> I feel like I just dropped my calves into a mine shaft. They're hurting so bad. And I am approaching my first little mini pass. And then I'll be on the east side of Mendoza Peak. But right now, I'm letting my calves cool down. So, just out of curiosity, I used my, well, it's actually not mine, it's a uh, Joseph's Brunton compass to measure the <laughs> incline of this. We're looking at 52 degrees. I am... <laughs> trying to maintain as much contact with this as possible and my cramp on it's like sideways because I've been doing so much side stepping it's I guess I didn't have it on tight enough so I'm going to try and fix that without falling to my death <laughs> way to be dramatic Darian way to be dramatic so I'm smiling right now but I am not as scared as I was yesterday, but I'm definitely <laughs> freaked out. Um, I have just climbed up that, and I am on this little rocky slope. And the idea was to climb over this rocky ridge and down to the other side. Um, but uh, it's a little scary. And the snow is hollow up this high against the rocks. And so climbing up the last 80 feet or so was just like punching my ice axe in like four inches or like between four inches and a, and a foot and it being like hitting rock and then my foot like going through the snow and hitting rock which wasn't very comfortable at all and now I've tried I've weighed different options and I thought about skirting over laterally over to the trail where the GPS says to go but it's just not a good situation. The, the There's just too much scree. And then the snow on top of the scree isn't very uh, hard. Um, 
so right now I'm going to fix my crampon, attempt to anyway, while laying here, and make my way down. Retreat for the second time. But that's just what you have to do sometimes. But more than retreating, <laughs> I am so scared again to start back down because it looks so much scarier going down <laughs> than it does going up. Oh, God. This might be the last time you hear me. <laughs> I don't even like Telluride anymore. I'm not even... I'm not even kidding. I just feel like I've been trapped there for so long. And now I'm going back. What? Feeling slightly defeated, although I am still alive, so <laughs> that's good. Are my teeth purple? I just drank some Kool Aid. <sighs> now I'm having a meat stick, Slim Jim type deal. And yeah, I'm glad I came down. I really am. But, um,. It just looks so damn doable. And I think it is. It's just... The hollow snow was not very fun. And then the scree slopes weren't very fun. And the snow was getting really soft. The snow was a lot softer today than it was yesterday. Maybe that's just because I was wearing crampons though. But, um... I don't know. I'm I'm glad I came down, but now it's time to find a plan to do something else, I guess. <sighs> Ugh. Story of my life. Alright. Yes, so the whole morning I was on this face right here. And it was in the shade and it still is, pretty much. Well, it's because it's shady. But um the other side was just getting blasted with sun. And it was also steeper, according to the topo map. So, it wouldn't have been any easier getting to the other side. Maybe I should have started, maybe I really should have started at like 3 a.m. Like I was planning on like 3 or 4. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. I'm telling you what. This whole thing started out as... Me saying, hey, CDT is too crowded for me. I want to do my own thing. So I'm going to hike from Telluride to Vail. It's going to be epic. I'm going to do backcountry this, backcountry that. Got myself a little fishing pole. Everything. And when I got to Telluride, I was like, okay. You know, I'll spend a few days here, get the lay of the land, it'll be nice, meet some locals, chat them up. My time has come, and it is time to get going. I don't know why my nose is so red. It's probably all that cocaine I've been doing. <laughs> but, um, then it was like, alright, my time to go has come. I feel ready, I feel confident.
I've talked to every outfitter in town and I've gotten maps and feel good, feel prepared, feel good. And the goal was to hike to Ure, then to Lake City, then to Gunnison, to Crested Butte, to Aspen or Leadville and then to Vail. And then that'd be my Colorado adventure. <sighs> I am not staying the night in Telluride tonight. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know the bus comes back through here at four. <sighs> this has been interesting.